I really enjoy elevating certain materials to a high art level. Um, familiar materials, familiar colors, but seeing them in different ways. I actually started working with tissue paper when I was in graduate school living with my grandmother um, when I went to the museum school in Boston. And she had a stack of rainbow tissue paper in her basement that was tucked away and folded and some water damage had made this really beautiful intricate stain and I thought how do I translate that into fine art um, and so I've been working with it for the last 15 years um, experimenting in a lot of different ways and you can actually see tiny bits of tissue paper in both of these pieces that is left over from the monoprint that I actually pressed into the paper. So the tissue paper um, creates these beautiful uh, prints. And it's almost like a watercolor painting. Um, and I actually work on a pottery wheel as well. So that vortex and that kind of spinning push and pull, you can see the striations and the um, ink pulling outward. And that's the uh, effect of working on a large pottery wheel. And I really love the organic shapes and forms that come out of creating in such a, a unique way. So it almost looks like a micro or macro. Um, it could look like you're looking under a microscope or pulling away and looking into a galaxy, which gives everybody an entry point to my art. I get my inspiration um, mainly from my ancestors and the African-American uh, visual arts traditions that are within my culture, um, meaning uh, handcrafts, uh, working with hands, experimenting, like my grandmother would say, how to make a way out of no way. I think something that's unique about the work that I do and who I am is um, I'm a product of my environment. I grew up in North Carolina, I was raised in North Carolina, I've been supported. Um, my artistic career is based here and I took that foundation and left um, to go to school and to learn and to teach and then when I had kids I decided I needed to be closer and back to the roots of where I was raised and where I came from and I thought that everywhere supported the arts in the same way I thought that there were arts councils everywhere and grants available but there's something really unique about being in North Carolina specifically the RDU triangle area that um, really fosters art connections and also helps young people uh, find their voice in the arts. It's been really amazing to work with the Duke team to select artwork that would uplift and bring joy in a time in a building which could sometimes bring anxiety. One of my greatest goals as an artist is to um, help people take a break, kind of a mental break. Um, I see my artwork as sitting with them as almost like a form of meditation and sometimes I look at my art for a really long time and I always see something different. Other people see things and I think abstract art allows us a place to find peace without judgment. Um, and so when selecting this work, um, although when I was creating it I didn't know where its final resting place would be, um, this is just the perfect institution because um, I think art and health go hand in hand. There's nothing better for an artist to feel like their artwork has impact. Um, it doesn't mean anything when it's stored away or in my studio or you know, even in my house. It's helping me, but I like to have a great impact. And so to, to know that people will walk by these works every day and see something new or bring a friend to go see it or um, just have maybe received hard news and just need something to reset, that just is the epitome of my goals as an artist. That feels exactly where I want to be.